Frog and Toad all year. Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, Toad cooked a big dinner. He decorated the tree. Frog is late, said Toad. Toad looked at his clock. He remembered it was broken. The hands of the clock did not move. Toad opened the front door. He looked out into the night. Frog was not there. I am worried, said Toad. What if something terrible has happened, said Toad. What if Frog has fallen into a deep hole and cannot get out? I will never see him again. Toad opened the front door once more. Frog was not on the path. What if Frog is lost in the woods, said Toad. What if he is cold and wet and hungry? What if Frog is being chased by a big animal with many sharp teeth? What if he is being eaten up, cried Toad. My friend and I will never have another Christmas together. Toad found some rope in the cellar. I will pull Frog out of the hole with this, said Toad. Toad found a lantern in the attic. Frog will see this light. I will show him the way out of the woods, said Toad. Toad found a frying pan in the kitchen. I will hit that big animal with this, said Toad. All of his teeth will fall out. Frog, do not worry, cried Toad. I am coming to help you. Toad ran out of his house. There was Frog. Hello, Toad, he said. I am very sorry to be late. I was wrapping your present. You are not at the bottom of a hole? asked Toad. No, said Frog. You are not lost in the woods? asked Toad. No, said Frog. You are not being eaten by a big animal? asked Toad. No, said Frog. Not at all. Oh, Frog, said Toad. I am so glad to be spending Christmas with you. Toad opened his present from Frog. It was a beautiful new clock. The two friends sat by the fire. The hands of the clock moved to show the hours of a merry Christmas Eve. The End